to me what it is is women who just were unabashedly themselves just lived really fiercely so without those markers I don't know if I would know that was okay to do for me it's not like I'm a complete rebel but to live a life as an unmarried queer artist who really invents every day for myself the, this is the template that was laid for me Great shipyard, New England, where winter's king. Weathered faces turn to watch the sea. During this process, I have felt really haunted by these women, and it's almost like my um, my board of directors. <laughs> it's are these women sitting in a room, and everything I do, I feel like I pass through their lens to see if I'm doing it okay. I feel less haunted now having a place where the songs live. I am not big enough to love the way I do. What will you do with me now? Keep me doing things, keep me from doing things, keep my things out of the way and don't stay too long. I hope people hear about women who are really dedicated to their art and feel like it's okay to do whatever they do in their life that brings them to a place of really knowing themselves. Knowing themselves and they do it wholeheartedly, whatever that is. So I think this is for people who want permission or didn't even know they wanted it, you know, but they hear these stories and say to themselves, I'm gonna go for it, whatever it is. Anytime we tell a woman's story, especially a, a woman who lived outside of conformity, I think it can only really be a powerful tool for the future. Can you make the most of this your little day, your little month, your half a year? As you struggle on, bells bend and break. A grave is such a quiet place. I am not big enough to love the way I do. What will you do with me now? Keep me doing things, keep me from doing things Keep my things out of the way And don't stay